Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be creating a pop of color look using drugstore products. I'm first priming my face with the Maybelline Master Hydrate Primer and then I'm going in with some foundation. Sadly, I don't own any drugstore foundation, so I am just using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 0.5. Next, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C1, which blends flawlessly and is amazing for dry skin. I use this all the time and it's definitely my favorite drugstore concealer. To set my face, I'm using this translucent shade from the Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette and setting my under eyes by applying it with a damp sponge from Morphe and then using the Morphe JH01 brush to set the rest of my face. For contour, I'm using the Matte Contour 101 palette from Pop Beauty and first applying the product closest to my hairline and dragging it down towards my lips but not going too far past the edge of my eye. I'm first applying the product in my hairline because wherever you first put your brush is where the most product is going to land and it's going to be darker in that spot. If you start off by applying the product on your cheek or closer to your lips, it's going to be harder to blend and may end up looking muddy. To define my contour and make my cheekbones look even higher, I like to carve them out using some translucent powder, which I'll then sweep away. I'm also contouring my nose to add some more dimension to the center of my face. And then I'm using the Pixie Glow Cake in Gilded Bear as my bronzer, highlight, and blush. I'm bronzing in the same areas that I contour in, and then I'm highlighting on the highest points of my face, including the bridge and tip of my nose and the top of my cheekbones. I'm then applying blush to my cheeks using the JH06 brush and sweeping it upwards towards my temple. Before filling in my brows, I like to brush them out, especially if I've already applied foundation. That way I can brush the foundation out of my hairs, and then I'm just following the natural shape of my brows and defining them using the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I'm cleaning up the lower edge of my brows using the P. Louise base in 0.5 and then tapping this onto my eyelid to act as my eyeshadow primer. This is a really great primer because you don't have to set it with any powder, you just tap it in place and it'll set itself. The palette I'm using today is the Profusion Wonderless palette and I'm first packing on this pink shade called Go Girl to my crease. I'm then blending it out using circular and windshield wiper motions 
and then picking up a bit more product to make it more vibrant and then dragging this onto my lower lash line as well. I miss your girl, I finally think I'm fine with that. I know it hurts when love bites back. But it's your fault, I wish you'd just accept that. I got a better place to be when the only thing I'm now holding the JH30 brush towards the very end of the handle and using a gentle grip to blend out the very edge of all of the eyeshadow. Now it's time to cut my crease. I like to use the JH42 brush to carve out my crease on my small hooded eyes and I start by applying a bit of the P. Louise base to the center of my eyelid near my lashes and then I tilt my head down and then look back up. The P. Louise base transfers above my natural crease onto my hood and then you'll be able to see all of the eyeshadow that I apply there when I look forward naturally. Since I'm just creating a half cut crease, I'm using my finger to blend the eyeshadow from the outer V into where I applied the base and then I'm popping on some of the shade Love Story onto the outer half of that base. I'm then applying a little bit more of the pink shade using the JH40 brush to the edges along where we applied the base to define the cut in the crease some more. I'm also adding some more dimension to the outer V and the outer half of the lower lash line by applying this purple shade called Regal. I'm now packing on the shade Frosting to the area where we cut the crease and then popping on the shade Chill, which is a gold, to the center of the lid. Now for the pop of color, I'm applying the shade Splash to my inner corner and then adding some Afro Mika lashes. I'm also blending my natural lashes with my false ones by using the No Intense Look Eye Pencil on my upper waterline and then curling them together using the Kevin Aiken Lash Curler. To finish off my eyes, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which is my favorite mascara from the drugstore. And then for lips, I'm using the Profusion Lips To Go Kit in Fierce, which includes a lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss.
And that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what your favorite drugstore product is in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.